everybody, Brummy Farmer here, and welcome back to Don Diego Interactive. Now in the last um, episode, I left a vote, and the winning vote was for me to buy some animals. So, for this I'm going to be using a mod called Road Train custom road train this is by gtx modding and um i'll leave a link in the description below if you want to get it which i recommend that you do because there's so much stuff in this in this mod pack and for this i'm going to be using trailer a yeah, should we have a red one wide wheels <coughs> And I'm going to get the same trailer. And then these two, they fit together to make a road train. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get them delivered. Oops, not that one. That's the one. As you probably saw, they just turned up behind me here. So with this you just, well basically you just add them together. But you don't, you don't need the dolly or anything. Well you can use a dolly if you want to use two of the bigger ones together. But there's not really much point because this small one fits onto it fine as you'll see in a minute and then you just reverse that one up to that one As you can see at the minute it's uh, plain but as soon as the animals appear inside it you actually get um, get the logos on the side of whatever animals that you have in there so let's find out where the buy point is um, Oh yeah, there we are. <coughs> and I hope everybody's having a good, good day or a good evening or what, whatever time it is for you. Yeah, I think at the minute all I'm going to be buying is I'm going to buy some cows and some sheep because I still haven't got the um, the the right amount of products to make the pig food yet so I don't want to be buying too many uh, too many um, pig pallets because that's going to cost a fortune so I'm going to wait until I've got the stuff so I can actually make the pig food with, with the food mixer <clears throat> yeah, and I hope everybody's enjoying this series so I'm enjoying making it um, I believe it's down there, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. <clears throat> I 
And then if anybody's got any suggestions or comments on how I can actually improve, please let me know. Because like I keep saying, all comments are welcome. Not sure if I'm actually going the right way here. Have a look. Should have just done that in the first place. And there we go. There we go. <coughs> Straight down here. Yeah, so in this run I'll buy some pigs. And then I'll come back again and just fill these up with sheep. I think this holds, uh, I think it's 38 sheep in each trailer I believe that's right oops nearly tipped it over then taking me back to my uh, ETS days <laughs> <coughs> for those of you who watch them videos my other videos you'll know what I mean by that Just up on the right hand side now. <clears throat> Not sure where the actual buy point is, but I'm sure it'll be. Uh, when I get in there, um, maybe not. No. There, I would imagine. <clears throat> yes, I think this one will be the pigs. Oh, 27 peaks. Maybe if we fill up the next one. Yep. Oh, the big one's 38 peaks. Okay. Didn't know that. Right, do you see the weight's lifting up now that it's got the animals in there? And it's got a little piggy logo on the back. That's a nice little touch. I do actually really like this mod pack. But like I said, I'll, uh, I'll leave a description for you in the... Uh, a link in the description for you, so anybody who wants it, some uh, mod hoster. But I, do, I have actually on this map got the uh, the um, the tipper trailers as well. And I did have a, a bit of an issue with the tippers when I was using course play. When the uh, the tipper would not tip the second or third um, cont uh, container, it would only empty the first one. And I um, I got in touch with the people at course play and they says basically that it was the mod and that they they said they couldn't help they they, they updated the um so I think 
What version am I on at the minute? Uh, 143. And they said that should fix the issue. But it didn't. Oh, I don't know. So, sometimes I have to keep going through to the... Um, when, when I'm emptying the trailers, I have to keep going in manually and emptying some of them. It's a bit of a pain, but these things have to be done. <coughs> I don't know if I've gone the wrong way. Yeah, I'm worse than James May from uh, Top Gear. If oh, oops, just flattened it. If there's uh, somewhere I can get lost, I will. I can't even follow the sat nav. <coughs> Oops, save game there. Auto save. It's uh, it's a bit of a pain sometimes, but it is essential really because if the game crashes halfway through a recording, then you uh, you lose everything basically. <coughs> Not sure where to unload these piggies. Uh, that looks like that's the straw. It's there. And it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to uh, back both of these in, so I'll have to do it individually. Because any of you watch my ETS or ATS videos, you'll know that I'm not the best driver in the world. I'm not even the best driver sitting on my chair at the moment. And I'm here by myself. So that should tell you how bad I am. just do a jump cut to uh, so you don't have to watch me doing this 
Here we are again now, just coming up to the, um, the animal boy point. And yes, I did actually take the wrong way again. That's why I ended up coming down instead of going up. Oh, and now it's time for the sheep. Oh, is it 42 sheep in the small one? Oh no, it went to put them in the big one. For some reason it's not letting me uh, put any in the small one. right out to the zone That's not allowing me to buy any sheep at all. <clears throat> Ah, now it's letting me do it. That was strange. Now we've got some little sheepies. All we have to do is hook up to these and then get them there. See you back at the farm. Alright, so here we are back at the farm now. And hopefully it should be easier with the sheep because I believe their tipping point is here. Yes, it is. Well, 
that was a lot easier than actually loading them in the first place. And I like the way these trailers actually close up when, once they're empty. Right. Well, let's find somewhere to store these for now. Just give me the sheep some water. And this is another one of those uh, tr trailers from the path. This is the liquid container. And you can see there, it tells you on the side what you have to be transporting. If it's water, slurry, diesel, basically whatever your carrying it tells you well they didn't take a lot of that well, let's leave that there and go over and pick up the trailer I think I'll go and get the grass first because I have the grass in storage I don't have a lot of it at the moment though because uh, my, grass, my grass field hasn't matured yet so it's not cuttable That's it. That's it. <coughs> grass, grass. There we go. Grass, there we go. So, and this, uh, em this silo does empty at quite a fast rate as well, which is very surprising. Sure, how much of this they'll need. But I don't think it's going to be all of it. And yet, I do like the way the uh, all the animals are together at the, at the main farm. Oh, they actually took more than I thought they were going to. Took 55% of the trailer. Yeah, I like the idea that all the animals are together all at the main farm, so you don't have to drive around all over the place. British viewers, they, they, they should get the reference, but the uh, if you're from another part of the world, maybe you won't, but basically James May was on a program called Top Gear, and whenever he went anywhere, he always got lost. <laughs> Actually, uh, watched one episode of Top Gear where he got off going around the Nürburgring in Germany and I don't see how because it's a circle oops but th that's uh, and they used to call him Captain Slow but obviously they don't do uh, this, the damn people don't do it anymore because 
Jeremy Clarkson decided to punch his boss <laughs> and he got the sack. These, uh, they do actually fill up pretty fast as well, so there's not too much waiting around. Oh, I picked up. Oh, I bought peaks. I haven't got a good one. I buy peaks. Oh, that was a fail. <laughs> I didn't want to buy pigs, I wanted to buy cows because I've got no pig food. Oh dear. Oh well. Never mind. I've got the pigs now. Yes, that was a fail. So on that disaster, I'm going to uh, call it an episode. Because obviously I uh, bought the wrong animals. <laughs> And, uh, yes, what can I say? But, uh, if you've liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I've been Brummy Farmer, and I'd like to thank you all for watching. And happy farming. Bye bye for now. <laughs>